Hi guys, I'm Marina and I write a blog called The Beauty Aid. This is my first ever video, so I'm excited and really nervous at the same time. I'm doing one of my all-time favorite looks, the Marilyn Monroe makeup. It's a classic makeup that really suits for everyone. Uh, so let's get started and I hope you enjoy. As a foundation, I'm using the Lancome Time Miracle in number 2 and for applying I'm using the MAC 187 stippling brush I really like the stippling brush to apply foundation because I really feel like when I started using the stippling brush I'm using so much actually less than foundation. I mean, I I still use it every day, but the amount of foundation that I put in on my face it's much more less, and the finish still looks super nice. And the Lancome foundation I've been using probably like two years already from now I really like the finish of it it gives your face nice glow but it's not like so oily that some of like moisturizing foundations they are they can make you look your face less shiny it doesn't really look like this it doesn't really look like that at all Next, I'm using the Lumine Beauty Base Dark Under Eye Concealer. Uh, Lumine, it's a Finnish uh, brand. I think you can get them also from America, Russia, well, Nordic countries like Sweden. Well, if you want more information, you can check their website. Uh, this product I really like because it's really lightweight, but it still covers, uh, I think, really good. You can use your maybe your concealer brush or if you have the beauty blender or some other sponge but I really like just to tap this with my fingers. This one it's one universal color. I think so it suits many skin tones. This one how it looks like. I have a little bit redness on my face because I have quite thin skin so uh, the blood vessels they really show like under the skin. Like, here right on my cheeks for that a good product that I'm using it's also Lumina product it's uh, I think color correcting concealer this this one it's the color light medium well I really like to put it with my finger because the heat of the skin makes it to melt to the skin more and I really just want this thin layer not too much product. This product is really good if you have redness some kind. Maybe you can have even a Cooper Rosa. And for and for the pimples, uh, I import this things like that. I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me. I use the color twenty. The product is really affordable, it's around 10 euros in the drugstore uh, and it lasts really long, I think so in my use it lasts maybe one year, of course, depends how much you're using it. In the video you're gonna see me using maybe few Duroy brushes because these are the brushes we actually used at school. So 
so that's why I have them a lot. As the highlighter, I'm using MAC Prep and Prime highlighter uh, in the color Light Boost. I like this highlighter because it's really yellow toned. So it's really, the color is really effective and shows even a little amount of the product. I just put it in on my chin before I put it in. And the bridge of my nose, just a tap, a lip, under the eyebrow. It really gives you an instant lift when you put it right under your eyebrow. And then I'm just gonna put a little in the edge of the under eye I'm not gonna put the product on the whole under eye just like the outer edge because if you put, if you put it on the whole under lid then it actually can make it look more Buffy. As a powder, I'm using the Body Shop. Uh, it's a loose powder in tone 2. I really like this loose powder because it reflects with the light a little bit. So even if it's, of course, it gives you the matte effect, but it doesn't make your uh, face look too dull. And I'm using the MAC 129 brush. It's a versatile brush that it's made for both blush and powder. Of course you can use the big powder brush if you like. But I really love versatile brushes. Uh, because like, for example, if you need to go to a trip somewhere, and you cannot really fit all of your brushes with you. I really like those ones that you can do almost anything. This brush, it's one of them. You can put the blush, you can put the powder. You can even do a little bit contouring. Of course, MAC has its own contouring brush. that It's really good. You may want to use that one for contouring. But it's even possible with this one. Bronzer, I'm using the Body Shop Bronzing Powder in shade 4. Uh, it's currently the darkest shade, but I really like the Body Shop bronzers because they're really buildable. Even I don't have so dark skin, I can still use it because depending how many times I put layers, I can, I can put either lighter or darker. And it also has a mirror on it. Mine, my packaging, it's a bit broke, but anyway, it has also the mirror. I'm using this Lumina brush. I got it years back uh, with products that I bought, so I don't think so. They are actually shelling this brush, but I really love it. This one is actually also a really versatile brush. You can use it for powder or then you can use it for bronzing. Just put it a little bit in your forehead. That's like the first places that the sun would hit you naturally. And just a little bit over the cheek. The chin. Just put it a little bit more. And just a little bit under my chin. As highlighter, I'm using Inglot uh, eyeshadow uh, number 395. You can use, of course, 
any highlighter that is actually meant for highlighting. This one product is actually a tip from my friend that is a makeup artist. Uh, when I was asking for a great affordable uh, highlighter. So this is how it looks like. I've been using it a bit. This one actually lasts super long. This one has, like I said, it has perlite. You may want to use even a matte highlighter. I'm actually doing another video about contouring and, and there I'm gonna use actually a contour kit for using. This is just to show different products as well. I'm using again the MAC 129 brush. Just a little tap on your on top of your cheekbone. This one reflects with the light really well. So this one actually I really like it to use in if you're going like out with a friend, some party. I think so it's nicer on that occasions than the, the matte highlighter. The blush it's Isadora number no. five Pinky Peach. This color actually goes really well with the Marilyn Monroe makeup because it's it's not pink. I really wouldn't use pink in this makeup. Uh, so I would use something like coral or a bit red tone. Next I'm gonna do my brows and I'm using Lumene uh, Blueberry Eyebrow Pencil and it's the color 3. Uh, these colors are really great if you're looking for something more grey based than uh, something uh, warmer tone. The secret is to not push too much with the pencil. You are only just putting a little bit of color. Because you really don't want the eyebrow too dark. Really good with this pen is also that it has the brush with it and this pen goes only like 7 euro and 50 cents so it's really affordable and really quite really great quality. Just brush through the eyebrows that the color blends in. This is how they look like. I'm putting also uh, shaping wax. This is also from Lumene. Uh, you can of course put just a clear wax. This one has a little bit of color. It's the color soft brown. Uh, I like to have this in my um, makeup kit because uh, sometimes if I don't feel like to put the pen, I'm just doing some natural quick makeup. I can use only this to do my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna put a little bit just to keep my eyebrows in shape the whole day. Like this. 
So next we are moving to the eye makeup and of course first I'm gonna go put the primer in the eyes. I'm using the Isadora eyeshadow fix. I think the easier way is just to put it straight from the applicator. Just brush it in your eyelid. This product you need to leave it to dry for a few minutes. I bought this uh, primer because I wanted to try something from the drugstore. I really think it's a good average product because it lasts the whole day at work but if I go after that out with my friends it doesn't really ho it doesn't really last the whole night. I just blend it in a little bit. And then I can put the eyeshadow I'm using as a base from the Isadora eyeshadow palette. It's the number 56, Smoky Eyes. I'm using this uh, light, lightest, lightest shade. You can of course use also white if you have something like really light color. And I'm just gonna apply this on the eyelid. You want definitely a color that has a lot of pigment on it because you want the base to be really light for applying the eyeshadow I'm using a Duroy eyeshadow blush. I really like it because it's really flat and pointed so you can easily to get it into the like, crease area as well. For the crease I'm using another color by Isadora. It's the 44 Moody Nudes palette. I'm using the darkest color. There is the dark brown. I'm using the same brush than earlier. But just be careful to not take too much color. Uh, then apply light on the crease. Then, of course, you want to blend it. Yep. One of the most important parts of this look is, of course, the eyeliner. I'm using the Isadora uh, Glossy eyeliner on 40 chrome black it's a waterproof eyeliner because my my eyelids they tend to get really crazy so I really need something that uh, holds on the whole day I've been using many eyeliners and usually my wings they're already gone like after half of the day so this one I really like it and I also think it has a really good pigment on it you can start wherever you want, you can start uh, doing the wing, you can start from the beginning, which one it's the most easier for you. I usually start with the beginning, I don't know why but it seems more logical for me.
and it also dries up really quickly so that's what I like because then it doesn't get messy when you are applying it of course you can only use the mascara in this look but I like to put the Foss Lass as well when we are talking about the Marilyn Monroe look I'm using the Ardell Professional Natural Foss Lasses I really like them because the part that holds the lashes together is really flexible so uh, they like flex really easily to your lashes like some of the Foss Lasses that part it's like super hard it doesn't really flex that well and then they don't really stay put really easily I'm using the help of the tweezers to put them in. I think that is the easiest way to put them. As the glue, I'm using Duo Adhesive. It's uh, this kind of glue that goes transparent when you put it in. And lastly I put the mascara, I'm using the Volume and Curl Super Easy Removal Mascara by Isadora. I personally don't like mascaras that are super difficult to take away because I don't really like uh, to massage the eye aura too much to get off the uh, mascara because that is like one of the worst things you can really do to the eye area. That's one way, definitely, to get some wrinkles. So I like mascaras that they, they are easy to remove. Of course, there is a, one bad thing in this mascara. Uh, during the day, it kind of crumples under the eyes of... I need to do like this a few times a day, but... I'm willing to let that go because it's so easily to remove but still it holds. And then I'm using the same brown color that I used before. I'm gonna apply a little bit under the eye to make definition. And for the waterline, I'm gonna use the Inliner Kajal 56 Blonde by Isadora. If you don't like super white uh, Inliner Kajal, I really recommend this one. It's like a light beige. Just put that in your water. On. Makes your eyes look so much bigger so this is how the eyes looks like then we're gonna move to the lips uh, I'm gonna line my lips with the Body Shop lip liner shade 13 rosy red If you want to make your lips look bigger, just uh, line a little bit over your lips, not too much because it will look crazy. Uh, I really recommend that you 
color your lip with a lip pencil because that makes the uh, lipstick the color last much longer like this already this one it's a nice color if you want like a super matte as a lipstick I'm gonna use the MAC Lady Danger it's also matte you can use any red lipstick of your choice this one it's a bit more orange tone This is how the makeup looks in the end. I'm gonna post this video also in my blog. There you can find more stuff like hair care, skin care tips, product reviews. I'm gonna post pictures of my nails that I did it a few days ago. Uh, I really hope you enjoy this look and have a great day. Thank you.